Hello, my beautiful friend. Welcome to your practice for today. My name is Katrina, and it is an honor to join you in your flow. We'll get started in an easy cross leg seat. And if this is too much for you, always know that you could always place a block or a cushion underneath your sit bones just to elevate your seat a little bit higher. And as you arrive in your seat, go ahead and close your eyes. Allow yourself to drop in and allow yourself to connect to your breath. Scanning through your body from your sit bones all the way up through the crown of your head. Noticing what's there for you today. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw. And allow this space of silence to be an expansive space. Check in on your energy. Bring your palms together and begin to rub the palms of your hands together. Imagining as if you're clearing energy and things that do not belong to you. Imagine that energy seeping out through the pores of your hands like a white light. And then we're just going to clear out the chakra, starting with the root chakra, making our way up to the sacral chakra just below the navel, and going above the navel into the solar plexus, coming up to the heart, then taking your palms up to the throat, And to the third eye, center just in between the brows. And up through the crown of your head. Bring your hands to your chest height, to the center of your body. And then go ahead and just separate your palms, feeling the magnetism of the energy between your palms. Maybe try to separate your palms wider, feeling the magnetism of your energy. Connecting to your breath, allowing your hands to move and allowing your hands to move to the energy from within. Bring your palms to cover your eyes. And breathe here. Acknowledging your safe space. Acknowledging your practice. Becoming the tuning fork of your own experience. Knowing very well that you are the creator. You are the creator of your reality. Set a gentle intention for your practice for today. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and softly lower your palms down onto your legs. Blink your eyes open. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Audible exhale, sigh it out. Beautiful, go ahead and walk your fingertips over towards the right. Gentle twist. 
Try to look over your right shoulder, eyes, look towards the right. Walk your hands to center and make your way over towards your left. Deep inhale here. Exhale, twist towards the left. Eyes look over your left shoulder. Check out what's there. Beautiful. Return to center. Reach your right arm in front of you. And now I want you to bend through that right arm, keeping that right arm in the same level as your right shoulder. Can you depress, pull your right shoulder down, and can you retract that right shoulder blade by bringing the right shoulder blade to meet the left shoulder blade? Keep your shoulders retracted in this moment, and then proceed to bend your left ear to your left shoulder. We're going to start off with some nerve flossing. So if you want to take this a little further, go ahead and just move your neck, your head, up and down. Feeling that sensation here, knowing that a little bit of sensation is more than enough. Try to keep that right shoulder blade on the back body. And if you want to progress this even more, you could straighten out that arm and bend it along with your neck. <laughs> Almost feels as if this is a funky dance move in the club. <laughs> but this is really great for nerve flossing into the shoulders, into the arms, getting right into that peripheral nervous system for all of the Pincha Mayurasana preparation work we are about to do. Beautiful. Go ahead and just shake that right arm out. Moving on to the second side, lift your left arm up, then bend through that left arm, making sure that that left arm is in line with that left shoulder. Can you depress that left shoulder blade down and then draw the left shoulder blade down the back body, retracting through the shoulder blades, meaning to squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then from here, drop your right ear down to your right shoulder. Stay here or you could bop your head up and down. Feeling that sensation of the nerves gliding. And if you want to add a progression here, you could straighten and bend that arm. Again, getting into the peripheral nervous system here, which is really going to help us with Pincha Mayurasana, the forearm stand or forearm balance. Beautiful, go ahead and shake your arms out. Just notice a little bit of how your arms feel after that nerve flossing. From here, meet me in a tabletop shape and circle over your wrists. Moving towards the opposite directions, gripping the ground, pushing the ground away from you, creating that strength into the arms. Beautiful, then lower your left forearm down onto your mat. Kick your right leg out. Take an inhale here. On your exhales, we're gonna pulse this right leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one. Beautiful, right knee meets the left. Rise onto your left palm and lower your right forearm down. Kick that left leg out. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, kick that left leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one. Awesome work. Rise up onto your right palm. Beautiful. Just a couple of rounds of cat cow. Inhale, eyes look up, tailbone flips up high towards the sky. Exhale, round down and in into your cat. Inhale. Eyes look up, tailbone flips up. Exhale, round down and in. Inhale, eyes look up, tailbone flips up. Exhale, round down and in. 
Tuck all 10 toes behind you. Hover the knees an inch or two. Taking this downward facing dog piece by piece. Push off through the arms. Sending your hips back into space, almost as if there is a rope that's pulling your hips back, back, back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out through your feet. Beautiful, from here, inhale to lift the heels, bend your legs, push your chest towards your knees just for a moment, feeling that turbo dog shape. And on your exhale, straighten the legs, spinal wave forward, bypassing through high plank pose. Hover the knees, push off through the arms, downward facing dog. Two more rounds just like that, turbo dog shape. Exhale. Spinal wave your body forward, bypassing through high plank pose, downward facing dog. This time as we lift the heels, bend the legs, wave your spine forward into high plank pose, look forward, slowly lower down onto your belly. Oscillating cobra, inhale, lift up through the chest, eyes look up, exhale, lower down. Imagine as if you were a wave in the ocean as you inhale to rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Look up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Look up, hold. Exhale to release. Take your left hand into a T shape. Kick your right heel towards your right butt and then step your right foot over the left leg into this gentle twist. Try to breathe into that left armpit. Allowing the space to truly free up your spine. Gorgeous, come back to center. This time your right arm is gonna form that T shape. Kick your left foot to your left bum, and then step that left foot over the right leg. Maybe you focus your gaze underneath the dust of your furniture. But can you breathe into that right armpit? Feeling the chest opening. Beautiful, come back to center. Locust pose, preparation, shalambhasana. From here, reach your arms back, thumbs pointing up towards the sky. Then float your legs up, squeezing your shoulder blades down the back body. We're here for five, four, three, two, on one. Your journey to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, spinal wave your body forward. Roll into the, your left hand. You're just going to step your right foot just in front of the left. This is gonna help us with our transition. Side plank here. Option to thread through the needle three times. And then allow yourself to roll onto your toes, drop your right forearm down. Modified side plank, step your left foot over the right and really push off through that right forearm here. Option to reach your left arm up or option to reach your left arm up and overhead. Keep pushing the ground away with that right forearm. Strong side bodies. Beautiful, roll back into center and downward facing dog. Inhale to lift your heels, bend your legs. Exhale, roll forward. Side plank onto your right hand. Reach your left arm up. Option to thread the needle in. Three times. Beautiful, roll to center, lower your left forearm down. Modified side plank. Push your left forearm down into the earth. Really lift up through your left side body. Option to reach your right arm overhead 
or keep it in front of you. It's totally your choice. Beautiful, plant your right palm down, plant your left palm down, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift your heels, bend your legs, wave your body forward into high plank pose, look forward, take a full push up, drop knees followed by your forearms, look forward, inhale, pulls your way through, upward facing dog. Exhale, wave it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend your right leg. Exhale, step your right foot to right thumb. Lower your left knee down. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky into Anjaniyasana. And in this Anjaniyasana, can you shift your weight forward and back for just a bit? Option to even interlace your hands on top of that right leg and gently push off through that right leg. Playing around with the tilt of the pelvis, Beautiful, arm sweep up. On your exhale, kick your left foot towards your left bum. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, on one, right away fold into pyramid pose. You could use your fingertips or float your hands behind you like an airplane. Focus on the fold. Inhale, rebend into that right leg, sweep your arms up high towards the sky, high crescent lunge. Hands meet at heart center. Inhale, crouching warrior. Exhale, traditional warrior. Maybe your arms float back or arms float forward. Bend into that left leg to bring your left knee up high to your chest. One-legged Tadasana. Exhale, can you kick that left shin out and sit that left ankle on top of your right leg, sit your hips low into figure four chair pose. Take a moment to breathe here or even rest your forearms down onto that left shin. Beautiful rise on out of it. Grab a hold of your left foot with your right hand and kick your left foot into your right hand softly. Maybe your head and eyes look over towards the left, twisting from the central axis of your spine. Go ahead and look into that left foot. Release your left foot. And as that left foot reaches back behind you, can you make your way into a half moon pose? Challenge your balance here, eyes fixated on a single point onto the floor. Staying active into that left foot. Then bend into that right leg to softly land the left foot lightly with control to the very back of your mat. As you land, reach your arms out, re-bend into that right leg, warrior two. Inhale to get longer through the spine. Exhale, sit low to your hips. Take another inhale to get longer and taller through your spine. Exhale, sit low. On your next breath in, straighten out through that right leg. Bend into that left leg and make your way into a skandhasana. Your skandhasana could be up here or you could sit down low, making sure that you're widening up that left knee out to the side. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, drive down through that right knee. Bring your right foot to meet the left, high plank pose. Lower your forearms down, dolphin pose. Take a moment here to just press your chest towards your legs. You could keep your legs bent if you wish, if that's going to feel better. Then look forward, bend into your legs, almost as if your legs are like springs here to pull your way through, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg reaches up high towards the sky, three-legged dog. Bend your left leg. Exhale to step your left foot to left thumb. Right knee lowers down. Inhale, Anjaniyasana. Again, you could interlace your hands and place your hands onto your left leg, just to shimmy forward and back, playing around with the tilt of your pelvis here. 
really getting into your legs and to your hips. Shifting yourself forward and back, staying active in the back right toes. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. Drive your right heel to your right bum. Hold it here, squeezing it in together for three, two, on one. Stab your right toes down. One smooth action into pyramid pose. You can come up onto your fingertips or float your arms behind you. Exhale to rebend into that left leg. Inhale, sweep your arms up high towards the sky, pushing off through your right foot. Hands meet at heart center. Inhale, pulls your way forward into crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Bend your right knee up high towards your chest, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, kick that right shin out, almost as if you're kicking a hacky sack. Just sit that right ankle on top of your left leg this time, figure four, chair pose. Forearms can rest down onto your right shin, or you could fold forward. Totally your choice, yogis. Just a couple of moments here. Stay connected to your breath. Then on your next inhale, right knee into the chest. Grab a hold of the outer edge of that right foot with your left hand. Kick that right foot forward. Turn and twist towards the right side. Focus your balance. Focus your eyes on a single balancing point. Beautiful. On your next breath out, release that right foot. One smooth action here to find your half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. And don't worry if you lose your balance. This is a challenging standing balance. Keep your eyes focused on a single point below you. And even if you wobble and fall, just know that the work is in the wobbles. Bend into that left leg. Land the right foot lightly with control at the very back of your mat. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, can you get tall through the spine, creating space. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, sit low. On your next breath out, bend into that right leg, skandasana to the very back of your mat. Keep driving that right knee wide, staying tall through the chest and collarbones. Then take your eyes towards the very top of your mat. Dig the, your left heel down onto the earth. Left foot meets the right. High plank pose. Lower your forearms down into dolphin pose. Can you press your chest towards your legs? Bend into your legs and move your gaze forward towards the top of your mat. Bend into your legs. Inhale, pulls your way through upward facing dog. Exhale, wave it back. Downward facing dog. Great work. That is a challenging transition. Take your time with it. Always know that your body is going to follow where your eyes are looking. We're going to pick up the pace, one breath per movement. Inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Bend your right leg. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Lower your left knee down. Inhale, sweep your arms up, Anjaniyasana. Exhale, this time cactus open up through your arms as you kick your left heel towards your left bum, flexing that left foot or pointing that left foot. Take another inhale here. On your exhale, fold pyramid pose. <sighs> inhale to rebend through that right leg. Arm sweep up, one strong action, high crescent lunge. Hands meet at heart center. Shift your weight forward into crouching warrior. Exhale, traditional warrior. Kick that left heel to your left bum. Bring that left knee up towards your chest. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, like you're kicking a hacky sack, external rotation of that left shin. Sit your left ankle on top of your right leg and fold over that left leg. Try to level up through your hips. Beautiful, left knee into the chest. Grab a hold of that left foot with your right hand. Kick that left foot out. Look over towards the left, challenge your gaze, challenge your balance. One smooth action, release the left leg. Right away, coming into your half moon, staying active in that back left leg. 
Then bend into that right leg, left foot lands lightly at the back of the mat, warrior two. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat. Dig through that right heel, high plank pose, right foot meets the left, dolphin pose. From here, we're gonna change up the vinyasa. Look forward, like your legs are like springs here. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Drop knees, followed by your forearms, look forward. Inhale, moves you through, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Bend your left leg. Exhale to step your left foot to left thumb. Lower your right knee down. Inhale, Anjaniyasana. Exhale, cactus wide and open. Kick your right heel towards your right glute. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, fold pyramid pose. Inhale, rise up high crescent lunge. Hands meet at heart center. Shift your weight forward into crouching warrior. Exhale, traditional warrior three. Bend through that right leg, right knee up high towards the chest. Exhale to kick that right leg out. Sit your right ankle on top of your left leg, fold down. Figure four chair. On your next inhale, right knee into the chest. Left foot grabs a hold of the outer blade of that right foot. Can you kick that right leg out? Take your gaze over towards the right side. Focus on your balance. Release that right foot. Windmill your way into half moon. Go as slow or as fast as you wish. Stay active in both legs here. Bend into that left leg just to land the right foot lightly at the back of the mat. Warrior two. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat. Notice how much more space you have here. Take your gaze over to the top of the mat. Dig your left heel down into high plank pose. Left foot meets the right. Dolphin pose, look forward. Exhale, take a chaturanga push-up. Drop knees, followed by your forearms, look forward. Inhale, pulls your way through, upward facing dog. Exhale, wave it back, downward facing dog. Wonderful, wonderful work. We're gonna add on for this last round on both sides. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Exhale, step your right foot to right thumb. Anjaniyasana on the inhale. Exhale, cactus wide and open. Kick your left heel towards your left glute. Fold over, pyramid pose. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Hands meet at heart center. Shift your weight forward, crouching warrior. Exhale, traditional warrior, three. Kick your left heel to your left butt, left knee into the chest, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, sit your left ankle on top of your right leg, figure four chair. Option to stay here or option to take the arm balance, Ekapada Galavasana, flying pigeon pose. Place your hands in front of you, eyes look forward. Kick your right heel to your right butt or Send your right leg up towards the sky. Push the ground away with your hands for three, two, on one. Figure four, chair. Inhale, left knee into the chest. Grab a hold of the outer blade of that left foot. Kick that left foot out. Look over towards the right, towards the left, excuse me. Release that left foot. Windmill into your half moon pose. Lower it down into warrior two. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat. Notice how much more space you have in this movement. Look forward. Right heel, dig your way into a high plank pose. From high plank pose, drop your heels towards the left into Side plank. Take a moment here. Beautiful. Come back to center. Drop your right forearm down. Allow your forearm to be in line with your left fingertips here. Option to stay here or option to walk your feet closer and try this funky forearm balance. Left leg lifts. Kick your left leg into 
that shelf of the left arm, you could bend into that right leg or extend that right leg up. Look forward. Lower it down. Make your way into dolphin pose. Look forward. Exhale, take a chaturanga push-up. Drop knees, followed by your forearms. Look forward. Inhale, pull your way through, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful, wonderful work. From downward facing dog, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend your left leg, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot to left thumb. Anjani Asana, right away, open up, expand. Exhale, cactus, right heel to right glute. Feel your power. Exhale, pyramid pose, float your arms behind you. Rebend to that left leg, high crescent lunge. Strong belly here. Hands at heart center, shift your weight forward into crouching warrior. Exhale, traditional warrior three. Kick your right heel to your right butt, one-legged Tadasana, right knee into the chest. Exhale to kick that right shin, sit your right ankle on top of your left leg, figure four chair. Option to stay here. Second option, take Ekapada Galavasana. Place your arms forward, kick your left foot into your left butt, or reach that left leg up, up, up. Push the ground away with your arms, look forward. Three, two, on one. Back into that figure four for just a moment. Inhale, right knee into the chest. Left hand grabs the outer blade of that right foot as you kick that right leg out. Extended hand to foot pose. Eyes look over towards the right. Twist. Release your right leg. Half moon pose, active right leg, active right glute. Land lightly with control into warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, skandasana, say hello to freedom. Dig your left heel onto the earth, plant your palms down, left foot meets the right. Roll over, drop your heels on towards the right side of your mat. Side plank pose. Stay strong here. Beautiful, roll onto your toes. Drop your forearm down. Allow your right fingertips to be in line with that left elbow, okay? Fingertips of your right hand to your left elbow. We're gonna come into that funky forearm balance. Feel free to stay here. Bend into your right leg. Walk your feet closer using that right arm as a shelf here. Bring your right knee on top of it. You could bend your left leg, stay here, or reach your left leg up. Look forward. We're here for three, two, on one. Dolphin pose right away. Look forward. Exhale, take a chaturanga push-up. Drop knees and forearms, look forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, drop your knees down, child's pose. Allow yourself this moment of integration and recovery. Take these moments to observe the changes of the energy in your field. Just allow yourself to fully integrate. And can you slow your breath down? Marinating in this space. You have an option to stay here or you have an option to play. Dolphin pose, traditional headstand, or pincha mayurasana. Your body is plenty prepared for this very moment. For those of you who are taking pincha mayurasana, the forearm balance, place your hands together, either press your fingertips together or 
turn your hands into fists. This is going to help you open up through the shoulders. Find your dolphin pose first, and then walk your feet closer in towards each other, and make your way into your Pincha Mayurasana, feeling the freedom of your shoulders in this space. Take your time with that. Softly come out of it whenever you're ready and just find an upright seat. Just take a moment to let the blood rush down from your head to your body. Option to stay here option for child's pose or option for round two for pincha mayurasana forearm balance again see what works best for you either your hands into fists or palms and fingers together it's totally your choice remember to push down through the forearms activate through your feet We're here for three, two, on one. Beautiful, beautiful work, everyone. Just sit on top of your heels and let the blood rush down from your face to your body. Three rounds of Samavriti, just to come back to center. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Pause for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, Three, two, one. Pause for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Pause for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Pause for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Take a moment here to sit with your energy to recalibrate yourself. And we'll meet in Downward Facing Dog, just for a moment. And from Downward Facing Dog, look forward your journey into Malasana to the very top of your mat. Sit your butt low, drive your elbows to the inner lining of your legs, Sit up nice and tall through your sit bones all the way up through the crown of your head. Your option for half circle wheel or circle wheel will take two rounds each side. So drive your right hand behind you, then drive your hips up if you're taking the half circle wheel. If you're taking full circle wheel, allow your body's momentum to take you there. Two rounds each side.
and we'll meet on our back body. As you make your way onto your back, just feel the connection to the earth. Really leaning into the weight of your body onto the earth. Option for supported bridge pose or wheel pose. For those of you who are taking wheel, place your hands by your ears and allow your legs to give you the strength to take you there. So take an inhale through your nose. On your exhale, drive down through the legs, push off through the arms, find your wheel pose. You could come up onto the toes just to take the pressure away from your low back. And slowly come out of it, tucking your chin towards your chest. Take a moment here. One more round of either supported bridge or wheel pose. Urva Danyurasana. Hands towards your ears. Wrap your shoulders towards each other. Wrap your triceps towards each other. You're plenty prepared for it. Take an inhale through your nose. On your exhale, drive through the feet, squeeze your glutes at the very top, then push off through the arms. We're here for five, four, three, two, on one. Tuck your chin to your chest as you slowly lower it down onto your back body. Wonderful. From here, reach your arms overhead. We're just going to do a little breathing to release our diaphragm. Our diaphragm is one of the most important muscles of our core. And a lot of times we tend to overlook this deep core muscle as we assume that it works automatically for us through our breath. But sometimes the diaphragm needs to be released. So I want you to place your arms overhead, tuck your tailbone underneath you so that your low back is imprinted onto the ground. We're going to inhale through our nose, and as we exhale, I want you to exhale out through your mouth, but imagine yourself pushing every morsel of air out, almost to the point where you're going to find yourself almost coughing. That's great because you're releasing your diaphragm. We'll do this together. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through an open mouth. One more round, just like that. Option to keep your low back onto the earth or option to drive down through your feet. Remaining that tuck of your tailbone, that posterior tilt of the pelvis. Inhale through your nose. <sighs> Wonderful. Lower your hips down. <laughs> I apologize if my sound scares some of you. <laughs> but I hope you're feeling great and I hope you're feeling good. I love moving this way and I hope you do too. Grab opposite blades of both feet, happy baby, Ananda Balasana, our final folding shape of the day. Unless you wanna take this into a gentle plow pose, feel free to do so. And slowly unravel and let your body melt into your Shavasana. Take these moments to observe the energy in your physical vessel, in your container.
and allow yourself to just be can you slow your frequency down and can you slow your breath down giving yourself this permission to rest And giving yourself this permission to celebrate your practice and celebrate yourself for showing up for you today and for rising up to all of the challenges, all of the wobbles and acknowledging where you are. Tune into the vibrations around you, shifting your consciousness up the map of consciousness every day, allowing your inner radiance to shine through. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need. As always, my beautiful friends, it's an honor to share this practice and this space with you. I hope that you are feeling amazing. If you haven't hit the like or subscribe button to this page, that would be deeply appreciated to support these efforts of sharing the practice with all of you, wherever in the world you may be. Thank you for your practice and thank you for playing and thank you for staying curious in your physical vessel. Thank you for breathing with me and thank you for raising your vibration. Remember, our greatest contribution to humanity is to raise our vibration. Wishing you love, peace and bliss wherever you are. Thank you.